Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here. I'm about to show you a preview to a future Skylake build that I've got in the works. This is a build that my brother's building step by step. So he has bought a few parts already the Asus Maximus, um, that's the 8 formula, and um, that's the newest one. Um, it's got a Corsair AX864 power supply. Also, he's going to be using, I think it's Trident Z, 3200 megahertz uh, DDR4 and that's 16 gigabytes worth of it. It's going to be using a Corsair H110 GT and um, this is just my box I and mean, he hasn't got his one quite as yet but he will be getting that with his Intel um, Skylake i7-6700K. So the case he's using is the Fantex Ifu Pro um, M. Quite a, I think it's a mid tower case full acrylic window, it's a really really nice looking case, it's got a magnetic strip at the top uh, which you can mount a 280mm radiator at the top and two 140mm fans at the front as well so with that in mind he's purchased five Corsair AF 140mm fans which are red so he's gonna go with a red theme for his his build, he does plan on purchasing a NVIDIA GTX 1080 in the future I believe um, he's got his eyes on a I think he's got his eyes on the EVGA uh, for the win version or he might even go all the way up to the classified he hasn't decided yet so what I'm going to do is just put a few parts in that I can now mainly being the motherboard the front um, two intake fans and I'll also put in the power supply and then I'll just uh, give you guys some updates step by step so that's pretty much it for now and I'll show you what it looks like once I've put in a few of the parts okay guys so here's a look at the Fantex Ifu M Pro mid tile case first order of the day is to remove the front 140mm intake fan and the exhaust fan as well and also mount the Corsair AX 860 and then I'll move on to mounting the motherboard so I've removed the rear exhaust fan. I'm just going to give you a quick look at the rear of the case and the cable management options. So it's not too bad. They do come with some Velcro straps going down the side so you can avoid using cable ties, um, which is pretty nice. And they've also got a few kind of um, areas you can just um, slide through um, cables as well. So they have thought of um, a few things of keeping cable management clean. You've also got a basically a, a mount for a SSD on the rear um, my brother wants to show off his SSD so he's gonna buy two um, mounts for the front so you can see them so probably won't be using that unless he buys an extra SSD so all I've got to do now is remove the remaining front 140 millimeter intake fan and then I'll start installing the Corsair SP140s Here's a quick look at the Corsair SP140 fans before I put them in. Pretty nice black and um, they do light up red. So where the fan blades are um, translucent, well transparent, they'll just grab the light pretty pretty good and it'll just look like a spinning red blade. Um, these are the screws that come with it, but because of the nature of the case, I have to use the special screws that come with the, the case itself. So can't use the fan can't use the screws that come with it but it is nice that they do give you some I've finished installing both 140 millimeter intake fans at the front and the single rear outtake exhaust fan at the back and one criticism I do have of the Fantex um, E through M Pro is that um, basically where the wire that connects the USB 3.0 um, connectors at the front of the case do may impede the airflow a little bit of um, the top 140 millimeter fan surely not to a great um, degree but it would have been nice if they could have just I guess tucked it out of the way I guess I could try and reroute that but um, we'll see if it's a problem or not anyway moving on to putting in the motherboard and the power supply moving on into installing the motherboard now as you can see I'm using the Asus Maximus 8 Formula motherboard, one of the most high-end Z170 motherboards around. Pretty overkill in my opinion, but my brother 
insisted that this is the motherboard for him. Does have that nice Asus Ura color scheme, so not only will he have the red from his lights from his case phones, but he'll also have the red from his motherboard as well. So um, definitely going to be a lot of red in this build. So one of the first things you do, as always, is install your rear I/O shield. Um, one of the most annoying things in the world to put in the motherboard and realize that you haven't connected the rear I.O. shield first. So I've got that out of the way and now I'm going to proceed into putting in the motherboard. So the motherboard is now successfully installed. Looks real nice, really stealthy and black. So even if you didn't want to run a color scheme, it would fit real nice with this case and pretty much any other component you want to buy. Just going to give you a quick shot at the back plate. So you can see everything's all nice and flush. So all I've got to do now is put in the power supply, connect the connectors that I can connect for the time being. And that'll be pretty much it for this part of uh, the new build. So the Corsair AX860 power supply is all connected. I haven't bothered to wire up the system as uh, my brother intends to get um, custom sleeves so there's no point of um, putting in all the cables yet plus I'm still missing some components so that can wait all the thing left to do now is to connect the fan controller and that's pretty much as far as I can go for today until he buys his heat sink his CPU and then I can uh, start some testing here's a quick look at the fan speed controller um, it's made by Allzai I think that's how it's pronounced if I'm wrong feel free to correct me in the comments so it's got a touch screen display, can control up to six fans, monitor your Wi-Fi signal and also has a few temperature probes as well where you can stick around your case to, men to monitor the temperature in your case as well. So that's going to go in the top slot of the case or the top um, three and a quarter inch bay, the only three and a quarter inch bay of the Fantex um, Enfu M Pro. And that's pretty much as far as I can go today as... Um, Still waiting on the CPU, heatsink, and also graphics card. I uh, have got the memory, but I'm not going to install the memory today as um, when you install your heatsink, it's always good to have your memory not installed, so it makes it a bit easier, a bit more room to work. Just a quick look around the system from what I've put in today. So rear exhaust 140mm Corsair SV fan. So we've got the Corsair AX860 at the bottom there. Haven't wired it up because uh, we'll be getting some custom cables in the near future. And also uh, the LCD uh, fan controller. Controls up to six fans and monitors temperature case points and also uh, your Wi-Fi as well. So all looking good so far. Everything fits really, really well. Just waiting on CPU, CPU heatsink and graphics card and custom cables. And obviously... Uh, SSDs as well, so not too much left to go, but um, I will be doing another video to give you an update of the final build. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.